here we are in Reno, Nevada. It is nighttime, and we're sitting here on the porch, and we realize that there's some frogs croaking down in this little pond. And we're pretty sure they're Pacific tree frogs. And I realized I've shown some Pacific tree frogs in some of my other videos, but I haven't really done a segment specifically talking about them. So that's what today is all about. It was just right here until what it was. It was a mouse. Look at that. Been out here for five minutes. We already got a really cool mouse. Now we gotta find some tree frogs. My method for doing this right here in this particular spot is walk up to a bush. Look, if I see a tree frog, I grab it. If I don't, I keep going. There's a frog right there. Okay. My method here is just shining the light in his eyes and got him. Oh yes. <laughs> Little Pacific tree frog. That's he's croaking using that big old sack called a vocal sack. They do that when they're mating or when they want whatever's holding him to let him go. Like, and this is a male, and the males are the ones that do the croaking. Beautiful little guy. And they've got really sticky little toe pads, and when they're scared, they blow themselves up. This one is a Pacific tree frog. Um, pretty similar to the ones that we have here. Uh, I mean, not here, but pretty similar to the ones that we have where I live. The only difference that I can see visibly being this one is a lot more brown. Despite the name tree frog, this guy proves that sometimes trees don't have to be present for these guys to be around. This guy is out here in the sagebrush, but this is just desert. Yet we're still finding little frogs. And one characteristic of these guys is they've got a little tiny black mark by the eye. And the males, you can distinguish them because they have right there black throat. One just croaked behind me. Listen. There's another one croaking. Okay. This is a very healthy little frog. Puffing himself up like a balloon. I'm gonna go over here and let him go. This guy, like the mouse, is also a good swimmer. There he goes. There he is. Croaking. Let's see if he'll do it. Very cool sound. And to believe that it was here in the borders of Great Basin, Nevada, among sagebrush, that we'd find tree frogs. Very cool. Alright, this concludes day one of the Arizona trip. Stay tuned, tomorrow we fly out for Phoenix, and from there drive to Tucson. It's been an amazing first day. Please stay tuned.